video, we discussed about how to access BigQuery on Google Cloud Platform. Please note that we haven't used any credit cards for accessing this. Now I'm going to show you how to write a SQL statement. On the left hand side, as discussed in the last video, we got access to BigQuery-Public-Data and we pinned this project as well. We scroll down here and looked at a data set which is this icon COVID-19 underscore NYT and within that I clicked on US states and this was the table ID. This was populated. This, this table was created on April 9th and it was populated last modified on May 22nd. So this is fairly um, latest and greatest data set. So now let's start writing a select star. So select star from BigQuery public data. So all what you can do is copy this and there is a colon, replace it by a dot. So BigQuery hyphen public hyphen data, which is the name of the project, essentially dot the data set, which is COVID-19 underscore NYT dot the table name very similar to what we have been doing in case of other databases. Let me run it. You would see that it's super fast. And obviously within seconds, right? It, it returned me in 0.3 seconds. Even by the time I was moving this up, the query got the output. And you would see that 4,000 414 number of records are available in this table. It's not big, obviously. Now let's apply a filter. So I'm going to say where state name equals New York and just run it. Now it just filters for a state name, New York, and 82 records for New York exist. Now let us understand a few features. If you want to create a new query, you would pick here, which is come compose new query hide editor if you want to click it the query editor is hidden now and then if you want to do full screen you can do that as well in here this is a run option and then run selected so you can select a portion of query and run it and that's how it is run selected you can save a query for later use but let's save a query for now I would say my first query and click on save and you would see that the query has been saved here you can also save a view of this as a view you can schedule to run a query which is on a scheduled frequency daily monthly hourly and then in the more options you can change the query settings and format we'll see that those options later here you can save the results so this is in the query results pane you can save the results or explore the data using data studio please note that data studio is a product from google again it's free for all to to use it it's it's something which you can quickly go and create and use a template and query directly big query on the left hand side you will be seeing a query history so remember we ran a couple of queries those are the queries here saved queries will show you the queries we just saved this is for future references job history shows you like what jobs were run and when there was no job scheduled transfers the data transfer there was no data transfer done but you can create a data transfer api from other system we are not going to discuss that for now this is out of scope for us to discuss scheduled queries if you have any scheduled query for now we have none you have to enable those apis just for your information for now reservations there is a bi engine and then you can add more data set Now, this is your project 
its unique ID, BDCS278103. So the name of the project is BDCS, but a unique ID was provided and automatically by Google. Now, we are gonna create few tables, but we will run few queries before creating tables and views. Please note that you do not have an edit permission or nobody has an edit permission to update bigquery-public-data. Your tables, your views would be created over here. So in the next video, we will write few queries and create views before moving to some high level advanced uh, on uh, BigQuery. Thank you for watching.